All right, guys, we're here with the Hosum 9125, the sprint truck. We're gonna take it for its first run and bash and see how it performs, all right? So let's get into it. I've got it in high speed mode. And the dual rate for the steering is set at its maximum as well. Very quiet truck. With dual 390 motors. I'm also running both those uh, 1600 milliamp hour 2S LiPos for extended run time. It's got some decent speed to it. For a 390 brush motor truck. And with the oil filled suspension, it's doing really well, especially compared to the original Zilli Hong 9125 that I had a few years ago. That was really bouncy, guys. Those LED lights look really good too, on the front and the rear. Okay, let's take it off-road a bit. Very good brake as well. The advantages of having dual 390 motors is that it's got really good torque off the line. Here we go. So being the size that this truck is, they do I uh, think what 10th scale it's more like a larger 12th scale due to the tires and the actual track it's uh, going over this terrain with ease here You're getting quite a bit of stuff stuck in there as you can see <laughs> Definitely a great truck for beginners. You can easily modify these trucks as well. Got a whole playlist on the Zilli Hong model. Can run 3S, even 4S. <laughs> a couple of years back, I uh, decided to put a 4S in this and it worked well. One thing about this truck too, it's extremely quiet. You can't even really hear the gearing or the motors or anything, and it's all metal geared. Okay, let's see how it goes on the sand. Not too bad. These oil filled shocks on this model, really doing a great job. The original Zilli Hong 9125 was nothing like this. It was bouncing around all over the show. And it's got some pretty decent speed, guys. I mean, more than enough for a beginner. I am in high speed mode. Let me just kick it down to uh, low speed and I'll show you what that's all about. I'm in low speed mode. 
and that's what you expect from low speed. So if you give this truck to your kid as their first RC, you just get them to drive around in low speed mode, just until they get the hang of it, especially if it's their first RC car. And then um, once they get used to it, just kick in in a high, and off you go. We'll be doing some more videos on this one later on down the track. I'll show you a couple of mods that I did on my original Zinli Hong. I've actually got a full playlist, so I might leave some links to some of the mods that I've done on that earlier model that I had a few years ago, including some speed tests as well. You can check them out. Those same mods will apply to this model. Those lights are awesome, guys. That's one thing the original Zinlihong didn't come out with was LED lights. I remember I had to put my own lights on it. Okay, let's take it through the sand pit. Not a problem at all. Very soft sand here. with a range test. Now they do claim about 80 meters of range on this one. So I'll just go around that tree. Just over there. Still got pretty good range. You can see those lights from there. Hopefully it's picking up on camera. See those LED lights, they're very bright just for a couple of LEDs. Without a big uh, light bar, you can see it for quite a while. Same with the tail lights there as well. Nice bright red LEDs in the rear bumper. Okay, let's check out the brakes. Yeah, very good brakes on this one as well. Okay guys, so that would be my review and bash test of the Hosum 9125 Sprint Truck. If you're interested in this one, you can get it on amazon.com.au. I'll leave a link below in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Stay tuned because there'll be more videos on this one. I'll do a stock battery speed test. That will be coming up next on this Hosum 9125. So we'll see what uh, it can actually get to on the stock 2S batteries provided. I'll use both batteries like I did in this video. We'll see what sort of max speed we can get up to. Okay, guys? So... Thanks once again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. If you haven't been new to the channel, thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time I drop a new video. So until next time, guys, enjoy the hobby and have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Such a quiet RC truck. Catch you on the next one, guys.